Hi folks, this is just a quick video showing you how I got a good morning routine to work for Siri because I was used to it on Google just saying, you know, uh, good morning and it gave me my morning routine and it was quite a bit more of a performance with Siri having to set up shortcuts. I'll share my link below so you can modify what I've done, but let me just show you how it works so long. Hey Siri. Uh-huh. Good morning to you. Good morning, Dani. Let me tell you about your day. It is 1317. There's 247 days until Christmas. Your iPhone battery is at 81%. You have to event S in your schedule today and I is listed drop shark at canal walk rubbish bin outside the 21st of April 2022 at 20 hundred hours. Here's the weather. Maximum temperature. 23 degrees Celsius 73 degrees Fahrenheit minimum temperature. 14 degrees Celsius 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Wind direction southerly wind speed, 6 miles per hour visibility good pressure, 1015 millibars humidity, 61% UV risk, 5 pollution sunrise, 713 SAST, sunset, 1817 SAST. And here are your top news stories. According to the latest data from the Central Energy Fund, the petrol price may be lowered in the first week of May. Diesel users may still face a hike though. The Etequini Metro has denied claims that city employees deliberately blew up electricity transformers in Sizwakazi near Klavata. Eric Ten Hag will leave Ajax to become Manchester United manager next season, the English giants confirmed on Thursday. Ukraine's ambassador to South Africa Lyubova Bravatova believes a call between President Cyril Ramaphosa and his Ukrainian counterpart Volodymyr Zelensky has sent a strong signal to Russian President Vladimir Putin. Private South African airline Elink and government of the Kingdom of Eswatini have agreed to end their decades-long joint venture Eswatini Elink. And that's all Dani enjoy your day further. So this is actually what my shortcuts look like. The good morning one on the top right in yellow, that is the actual shortcut. And you'll see how shortcuts work really is it stacks certain information so it will draw information from the operating system things like text that you've put in or calling dates or battery levels and then it can say or display that text so at the top you'll see here the first action or element uh, you can see it's got a it's sort of a rectangular shape where it says text and donny that is where i have entered my name phonetically so that it can be pronounced correctly so that has been stacked and then it follows with things like getting the current date formatting the date getting the time then between december the 25th and the current day in days working out the time between the dates a calculation result and then it moves on to things like getting the device model so get the you'll see as well there's a whole bunch of things you can select from in my case i've selected the device model but just ideas for other things then get the battery level was another function there then it moves on to then finding all the calendar events where start date is today so in other words just checking for today's calendar events you could set sort and limit the number as well then it does a count just to determine how many calendar events have been returned and then it starts a sort of a loop, if I remember correctly here, it's repeating for each item in calendar events, get the title from the repeat item. And there you can see we've ended the repeat. It's a loop basically. And here now the next element, it's combining actually those results in a custom format. And now it actually starts preparing the text. So. You'll see here this part we've actually typed in with a variable name. So good morning, and it's, it'll obviously use the name from a, where it's selected above. Let me tell you about your day. It is, and then it's selected already, got drawn current time. There's, and you'll see now it's using the calculation result in days. Until Christmas. So obviously you could customize this for anything else you wanted to your and then it'll obviously mention device model battery is at and it'll mention the battery level that it's found already in percentage 
And the next one here where it says speak, essentially what it's now doing is it's executing all the above. It's now speaking that text to actually give you the output. Then get event from calendars. You have, and it's now mentioning the count of events. So it'll say that you've got two events or five events or whatever in your schedule today as listed. And here it's, it's already put it into combined text. So as far as the display goes, uh, as the text goes, it'll have it all together in a, in a sort of a text block. Then oh, I should also just say, I think text, no, no, not here. But things like speak, for example, here's the weather. And now the speak part, you've got a, some controls over things like the rate, the pitch, the language, and Sir, which Siri voice to use. This one, where it says get one item from, and it's showing you the weather link. This is a RSS feed, which, and in this particular day, it's a three-day forecast for Cape Town. For the US, there's quite a few RSS feeds already available that can be used without a problem. But for non-US, this is not a bad link to actually make use of. So it works quite well for me for Cape Town. It's basically returning from the RSS, it's returning sort of a short text field that can be read out. Then the next one is saying get text from items from RSS feed. So what it's now saying is strip out the text and put it into the text buffer ready to speak. And then, of course, the next one, it's speaking that weather forecast. And here are your top news stories. Now it's going to speak that and then it goes and gets the news also from an RSS feed. So the symbol you can see on the left of the get is an RSS symbol. I basically say get five items. I mean, you, do, you can take 10 or 15 or 20, I suppose, if you want to. And the RSS link there, you can pick anything you want. I've used News24, which is a fairly good source for South Africa. So again, you could take any news site that's got an RSS feed and you could just customize that by just clicking on the RSS feed and typing, you know, a correct, a, a different one in there. Then I've said next is to get the text from the from that RSS feed that's been returned. So it'll put that into text. The next thing is to speak it again. And it finishes off there with putting text in the buffer. And that's all mentioning your name. Enjoy your day further. And the last one really is just to speak that text and say it to you. And that, that really is it for the shortcut. So I will put a link to the shortcut as well below the video. And you're welcome then to import that and you can just edit and refine a few things you want to because I've combined this from a couple of different sources. So there's no one specific sort of source that, you know, tells you how to put together the good morning routine. It's picked from a couple of them and I've taken out what didn't work for me and included what, what does work for me. So that, that really is pretty well much it as far as the shortcut goes. I'm still in a bit of two minds about it. You know, like I said, Google's one maybe is easier to use. Series is a bit more difficult. It's a pity that they don't give you something like this as a sample good morning routine that anybody can just easily edit. That, that would actually be a great step forward. But use mine for that purpose anyway. And, you know, yes, it gives you a lot more power maybe because there's so much that you can do, I suppose. You, you've got a lot of power over what you add in and you can really go to town and customize this and, and add some more things to it and make it really interesting. But anyway, that's the lot. So I hope some iOS users found this of interest. Keep well and keep safe out there and I'll see you in my next video.